Yo, what is up gamers, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today's video guys, I've got another Beth male outfit for you, because you seem to like the Beth outfits with the male instead of the female. So I've got another one shown in the thumbnail. Uh, as always, we'll jump through the C2 Keep outfit, which is always linked in the description how to get it. So we're going to go ahead and skip that part. So first of all, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please do go ahead and drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and let's turn those post notifications on so you never go ahead and miss a future upload, I do go ahead and post on the channel. Right, so as always guys, you're going to have to make your console one outfit, which will be this one right here, with the racing suit with the logos. You're going to have to make your merge, which is the green t-shirt one, shown in the bottom of my merge section slot 20, and I'll show you how to go ahead and make it. Right, so console one outfit, you should have this one and your console two keep outfit, which is then obviously made with two different components, which is shown in my other tutorials. Alright, and to make the merge, you want to go ahead and go to T-shirt section, into the top section, scroll through there until you come across this green V-neck T-shirt. Make sure you go ahead and go to utility vests and take off the shoulder pads and the belt itself, then you're ready to go with this outfit. Alright, so you want to have now save this in your slot 20 merge slot, so we can go ahead and merge it through Crooked Cop, be a lot easier. And then obviously you need to go ahead and do the Beth glitch, which is also linked in the description if you guys are new to the glitch itself. It'll show you guys how to do it in one of my tutorials linked in the description. So let's go ahead and do the Beth glitch with C1 and C2 keep. Alright, and so this is what you should look like once you're going ahead and merge those together with your two consoles. From here, when you're online, go to a Crooked Cop mission and also go ahead and put it to a player owned clothing. Once you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do once is go to once to the left and then back once to the right and your shoulder pads and your belt will merge onto your green t-shirt. From there, all you want to go ahead and do is proceed to go into the mission and go ahead and put a rebreather or an earpiece on and then go ahead and quit the mission through your phone. Once you're back online, go ahead and save this as a brand new console number one outfit and let's go ahead and put our shoes onto our outfit. Alright, and so I've changed up a little bit here. I'm going to have to use the Arena Wars um, shoes. So first of all, we're going to have to do our pants thing first. We're going to go to the shorts section. Scroll through there until you come across the boxer shorts, the, the red heart black boxer shorts. So these are the ones right here. Now for our shoes. You want to go over to the shoe section and you want to go down to Arena Wars shoes. Once you're in Arena Wars shoes, all you want to go ahead and do is put the black and highlighted um, pink bottom of our shoes on. So it's the reason right here. They are like 50k by the way guys, so go ahead and buy them. From there, save us as your console 1 outfit. And for console 2 outfit, we're going to go ahead and find our pants merge to go ahead and merge our noose pants onto our outfit. So console 1 should look like this. Doesn't matter if you've got a rebreather or not. For console 2, go to the jeans section in the pants section and scroll through there until you come across the warm black regular fit. Okay, so now you go ahead and save this now as console number two outfit. Now in your console number, um, sorry, console number, in your slot number 20, you'll need to have the pants with the noose um, outfit. So if you guys don't have an outfit like mine with the noose pants on already, go ahead and do the husky job itself to go ahead and get the noose pants and save it in slot number 20 as your merge. Alright, so as always, go ahead and do the Beth glitch with console one and console two now, so one with the boxers and ones with the jeans. And what you should go ahead and spawn in as, once you go ahead and do the glitch, is without any jeans on. Okay then, so obviously we go ahead and do our parachute glitch. We're putting the Israel parachute bag on console number one outfit. And then switching to console two outfit on other consoles. Okay guys, so we'll come back once we go ahead and done the glitch. Right, so when you spawn back online, like I said before, you should spawn in with your boxer shorts on, your shoes on, and your green t-shirt. Now from here, find yourself going to a crooked cop mission and set the player clothed owning to player clothed. With that being said, all you want to go ahead and do is go into the mission, go once to the left and once to the right, and your noose pants should transform and teleport onto your actual outfit itself. From here, all you want to go ahead and do is ready up and go into the mission by going ahead and putting a rebreather or an earpiece on in the mission and quitting the um, mission through your phone. Once you spawn back online, this is what you should have so far. From here, we go ahead and do our gloves merge now. So we go ahead and save us now as console number one outfit again and resave that. Now for console number two outfit, you'll need to go to the gloves section and you'll need to go ahead and purchase the grey digital tactical gloves.
So here they are here guys, we have purchased them for our console number 2 outfit. So our console 1 outfit, no gloves, console 2 outfit, digital tactical gloves. Now for our merge slot you need to go ahead and put the racing gloves that you do want to go ahead and put onto your outfit, such as the black ones because I'm going to use and flip the colour to the purple and, and white ones. So it doesn't matter what colour you have on your outfit now, or your, your gloves sorry, in slot 20, um, if you've got one unlocked, go ahead and do that, save yourself some money. You can also go ahead and use these bodysuit as gloves as well, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So as always, we're going to jump through it again. We go ahead and put on any gloves that we want to use. Uh, even the bodysuits are required with these ones as well, so you can go ahead and use the bodysuits. Uh, but what we're going to have to do is put on our black standard ones and flip the colour once we go ahead and done the glitch, okay? So I save this out as your merge slot in slot 20, so we can go ahead and merge it in Crooked Carp once we've done the glitch. And now all you want to go ahead and do is select your outfit with console number 1 without the gloves and then go ahead and merge it with console 2. So as always put your Israel parachute bag on, do the Beth glitch and uh, you should be sorted to go. Now if your parachute does disappear, to get it back without going to the gun store, go ahead and register as an MC president and go ahead and call either an oppressor mark 2 or an oppressor itself to get a free parachute bag. Okay, so there we go now, we're going to go ahead and put our parachute back on and we'll go ahead and do the glitch. So we'll come back once we've done it. Alright, and so this is what you should look like now. You should spawn in without any gloves on. That means you've done the glitch correctly. All you want to do from here is go to an invite only session or a public session and host up Crooked Cop. When you're inside the Crooked Cop, as always, once you go into the mission, go once to the left and then once to the right and your racing gloves should merge over to your outfit. From there, let's go ahead and ready up and go ahead into the mission. Once you're indeed in the mission, all you want to go ahead and do is put a breathe breather or an ABS on and quit the mission. Once you quit the mission, you're back online, you'll have the gloves, the noose pants and the uh, top on itself. All you want to go ahead and do now is save us as console number one. Now, all you want to go ahead and do from here is head over to the accessory stand and put on some cuffs if you want to use them or some accessories. But for me, I actually am going to go ahead and leave these because I don't really want them on my outfit. They don't look really nice with the noose pants, if you ask me. Once you've got them both on, all you want to go ahead and do is save us as console 1 outfit. And make sure you go ahead and put on the heavy body armour so we can go ahead and merge our body armour while later on in the glitch. Alright, so like I said, make sure you go ahead and put your body armour on by going to your interaction menu. Once you've got your body armour on, that is now console 1 outfit complete. You can go ahead and leave all this. All we got to do now is find our two tops. We want to merge our CEO vest and our top together. So, if you have a body armour vest already, CEO vest, black armour, make sure you go ahead and save it now in your slot number 20. For me, I already have outfits with the CEO vest. I'm saving this now in slot 20 for our merge. Then, once you go ahead and done that, you're going to go ahead and create a outfit with the top we want to use for our components. So all you want to go ahead and do now is find yourself going over to the casino. Go to the casino hoodie section. Go to the very, very bottom and select this outfit right here. Now, if you guys have got gloves on or masks on, make sure you do go ahead and take them off while doing this glitch. Okay, so now you want to head back to a clothing store and save this as a brand new outfit as console 2 too, just so you don't get confused with console 2. So for me, I'm going to hold my console 2 too, just like you see here. Now we want to go ahead and find the components to stop the colour from flipping. So all you want to go ahead and do is go to sports jackets. Once you're in the sports pack, uh, sorry, once the sports um, jackets itself, you want to scroll through the category or and even the jackets itself and come across the green camo puffer, which would be this one right here. From here, make sure you got your light body armor on, so your heavy body armor, sorry, the green one. This will emerge our outfit together with the CEO vest. So we're going to and save this now as console number 22, or 11 even. Once you go ahead and save it as console 11 or 22, uh, all you want to go ahead and do is now merge this with console 22 outfit. So again, all you want to go ahead and do is put an Israel parachute bag on, 
do the Beth glitch and then we'll come back once we go ahead and done the Beth glitch. Alright guys, so this is what you should look like once you go ahead and done the glitch itself. Standard, yes, looks so. So then all you go ahead and do is host up a Crooked Cop mission and set the uh, clothing to player owned. Once you're inside the mission, all you want to go ahead and do is go once to the left and then once to the right and that will merge your CEO armour straight onto your outfit. Alright, so all you want to go ahead and do now is ready up and just proceed to go into the mission. When you're indeed in the mission, all you want to go ahead and do is bring up your interaction menu, called accessories, put a rebreather or an earpiece on and then go ahead and quit the mission. Once you quit the mission, you'll spawn online with the CEO armour and the jacket merged together. Go ahead and save this now in your very last slot as merge. Alright, moving on to the final part of this outfit to go ahead and merge all together, we go ahead and select our C22 Keep outfit. Alright, so we go ahead and now find the components for our joggers on our C1 outfit. So first of all, we're using noose pants, so you're going to go ahead and go to the pants section, go to cargo pants and put on the blue digital cargo pants. This will then keep the colour of our noose pants and won't flip any components on our outfit itself. Okay, so once you go ahead and cut the cargo pants, we want to go ahead and sort our shoes out so we don't flip the colour of them again. So what you want to go ahead and do now is go to the shoe section, go to the rubberized boots and put on the aqua camo rubberized boots or the aqua camo trail. From here, our last part of the outfit is we go ahead and find our gloves to flip them from a colour black to purple and white. So we're going to scroll through this category here until it comes across the same gloves I do purchase to go ahead and flip the colour from um, purple and to white, sorry. So it'll be blue aqua camo ones again, and then your outfit is complete for your C2 keep. Now whatever you do, don't resave this as a C2 keep, make sure it is called C2. So resave your C2 keep, but auto save it over your last save. So you have this outfit now, and this outfit, and this outfit. So your merge, your CEO vest, your C2 keep, and your C1 outfit. You want to go ahead and merge now C1 with C2, and then go ahead and do the black glitch. So we'll come back once you go ahead and done that glitch. Alright, so once you go ahead and merge them together, this is what you should look like when you come back online. You've got your noose pants, your purple and white gloves, your rebreather, your um, side belts, your pants and your shoes. From here, merge it in Crooked Cop by going to Start Online, Crooked Cop, set it to Player Owned Clothing. When you're inside there, make sure you go ahead and go once to the left, once to the right, and then go ahead and ready up, and your whole outfit should merge as one. So now you've got your hoodie, your CEO vest, your gloves, your logos, your pants, and your shoes all merged or merged onto one outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is go ready up, go into the mission, put a rebreather or an earpiece on and quit the mission. It is pretty straightforward and that is the outfit tutorial for today for your male character using the Beth glitch. If you guys have any sort of questions please do head over to my Twitter linked in the description. Uh, also if you want to go ahead and join my Discord that is also linked in there as well. Um, but if you guys are willing to buy some outfits please do contact me over on Twitter I'll send you the prices in your DMs. But that guys, have a wonderful day, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and make sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications, so you never miss out a brand new tutorial on the channel, such as modded outfit, or anything like that. Till next time guys, it's your boy Dino, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the very very next one. Peace out homies.